Okay, what we're going to do in this one is um, do a, a stomp on enemy that basically goes back and forwards. Now the theory behind this is you'll just import a animated enemy and um, which is an object. Um, now this guy will just run into two transitional logic pieces. These are the settings. So obviously this guy, um, he's an object, he'll be set to an enemy preset. He'll also um, just an ordinary collide type. And in, if he collides with the um, character, obviously he destroys the character. Now, to be for him to get um, destroyed, we need to attach a little thing like the. It's called a hitbox. Well, in old theory, it's called a hitbox, but really, all it is is just a a platformer um, that's been linked to the um, actual enemy. Now, what this does is um, once it once a player collides with this box, it's going to um, destroy, um, destroy the enemy. Now um, it'll it'll come more um, clearer once we get this um, all set up. So, but that that's just the basics for it. So um, the um, this guy is going to come along. Um, we set the enemy to um, a minus 5 velocity, which is X that way. And um, he's going to just go that way. He's going to come along to this guy, who's going to set him back in the reverse direction, X. And it, it's negative X that way. And he, and also, we we're uh, setting the scale modifier to minus, so it gives the illusion that he's turning around, but really he's just scaling negatively, so that he looks like he's turning around. So that'll be the same for um, this guy. He'll set him back to the the positive positive um, one scale. So that is the the theory behind it. Um, now the little box that sits on him will also show you how to link that in the tutorial as well. Now that box um, it's um, it's set to um, we have to add an extra component to it, and which is a, a wake up. And that wake up is triggered by um, a collision from the the player. And his because he's set to um, collide, his um, action is destroy enemy. So all a player has to do is hit that box, and um, the enemy is going to be destroyed. So um, that's just the the basics of what we're trying to do. So, um, with that, we'll get into the main part. Okay, back in um, Bill Box, we've got our little guy um, there at the start. I've made a little bit of a change to the game frame, where I've, I've stretched it up to the bottom and the, and the top, and I've clicked on the... Like uh, it's a little bar that sits on each side of these, and th and yellow means it blocks blocks um, this guy from dropping off the bottom of the of the screen. I'm hoping that's going to fix our zooming problem, but um, we'll we'll know later on. Now, um, so what we want to do is basically we're going to drag this guy in as a um, as an object this comes standard with um, build box so we'll just um, 
pull him in, pull him in as an object. And we'll just do a little short one here. This is only just to get the Now, instead of him being, um, we'll, um, under objects, there he is, we'll, we'll edit his shape a little bit. Whoops, should have been plus that, never mind, just put one there, again it doesn't have to be too brilliant. Okay, that's the the basic shape. We can um, just look at that through the debug mode. And um, we want to give him a, a velocity along the X minus. So... Um, this again this box that's X there and that's Y there so we'll say um, okay so um, we'll go minus 5 We want him set to collide and we want him to destroy the character. Okay, so he set up he set up to move at um, negative five straight up. So we'll go into our logic um, pieces. We'll drag in just a box here. So as soon as he hits that um, box, he's going to, um, we're going to set, now where are we, we're going to say effect enemy. And we're going to do a replace. So, okay, that's an easy one. You just, any enemy that hits this um, box, we're going to give him, um, we want to send him off into the, we want to send him off into the X positive direction. which is the first box here. Remember that's um, X there and Y there. So we're going to send him back five. And also we want to um, make him, give him the illusion of turning around. And we do that by making his scale negative one. So that's um, set up. We'll press D to duplicate this... Um, this transition box click on him hold your shift down we'll probably let's drag him out a bit further just to give him a little bit more length actually while I'm here I've got a 
a different tutorial set up so we'll just delete these so you don't get confused now this one we need to change him back to uh, his original sh shape which is positive one and we need to send him back back um, to the negative X again so that he can go just bouncing back and forward each time Oops. I'm getting used to some new software here so you'll have to bear with me until I get it so So Rodio, we'll just test that out now to um, see if he's um, see if it's working. Right, no, we failed miserably on that one. Now what have we done? We've looks like we've put him in the Y direction. Yep, that's what we've done. It's in the wrong box. And we'll just test him again. Right, now that failed also, but he did kill the, the player. Now that's because we... So it didn't pick up that um, affected assets, which is rather strange. So um, it's not picking up the enemy, so it only wants... <clears throat> this is the actual name of the of this guy here. Which is... There we are, there. So that's what we'll have to... The affected assets... So for some reason the enemies doesn't work, so um, we set it to the actual name that this guy is called. And we've, we'll just have to change this on in, from enemy to and um, we'll test that now. And as you can see is working perfectly um, we'll just turn off the debug mode and if he collides with the the character he dies so that's all working good so now our next part of the process is um, we want to make a, a hitbox for him now we're going to use um, just the default platform objects we'll just drag that in we're going to um, resize that down here uh, we get it have to get it close enough so we don't um, actually hit him Okay, and now if we played that, that would stay on the spot. And um, we'll just show you what happens. It'll just stay on the spot and won't move at all. Because we haven't linked it. And as you can see, that's, that's, what it's, um, that's what it's doing. It's just sitting there doing nothing. So what we want to do is um, link it to the the enemy so it, it moves with the enemy. 
Now, Bell Box is has a oh, I'll say an unusual way that it it links things. There's this little box here, connection mode. Activate connection connection mode. You see these little dots. That's basically the pivot points of of your object. Now, normally you would drag um, uh, drag the child onto the parent. But for some reason, Billbox does it in the opposite way, where you've got to drag the parent to the child. So it's a little bit of a quirk. I guess all programs have their little differences. So now, if we um, we'll just turn off, um, and you'll see that the the box actually sits. Um, moves with it now. The next thing we want to do is um, set up the box. Uh, let, we can turn off our um, linking um, connection and we just select that. So what we want to do is set this platform. It's um, got collision on and you set it to destroy enemy. Now, how that um, how you um, get that to activate is by adding a component, which is down here. And we'll call it wake up. So now how that wake up acts is by a collision. So it's waiting for some type of collision from, from an object. Now I would say that I would place... But just a little bit back so you don't have that box running into that. So right now it's um, collision based. We can um, just test that out now just to see if it's working. bang so that's working perfectly fine but it's going to be a bit annoying if you've got that little box there it doesn't look very realistic does it so um, what we do is make sure our box little hitbox is selected and we're going to turn down the opacity to zero So now when we play it, you can't see that hitbox at all. It's, it's just sitting there on top of him. He can still die from the enemy if you hit him from the sides or the back. And with Billbox, you've got a debug mode which shows you the collision boxes that are on. So we'll try and get this guy. Whoops. Oh, God, I'm not, not very good at this. There we go. And that's how the basics of building... Uh, a hit on the head enemy so um, with that we'll end this part and move on to the next thanks